Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of our special programs on Javan TV. Today, we bring you to sunny Vail, California. Packed 2009 is about to happen. We've got over 250 of delegates here. We've got entrepreneurs, we've got investors, and we've got you, the viewers. Stay tuned, the program is just about to start. Plug and Play Tech Center, packed 2009, it's the hottest event in town. My name is Maud Pastorode, I uh, have been with Plug and Play for a year and I'm from France, so I moved all the way from France to come here and have fun in this place. So I'm building partnerships with government entities, uh, incubators, uh, investors, so seed uh, funds as well as VCs, uh, all the way in Spain, France, UK, Italy, Denmark, uh, Sweden, all of the major countries in Europe. And uh, once they send me companies, I accelerate them here. So I introduce them to investors, to the big corporations, if they need a lawyer. Uh, we have everything to accelerate the startup uh, very fast here. Hi, my name is Jup Tan from Plug and Play Tech Center. I manage a lot of uh, the international relationships here at Plug and Play. Uh, we work with a lot of international uh, government agencies, incubators, universities, and, and all those fancy stuff. So we bring international startups into Silicon Valley and we accelerate and en enable their success here at Plug and Play. Hi, my name is Ruth Gonzalez. I'm a business relationship associate here at Plug and Play Tech Center. Some of the roles that we have here at Plug and Play are uh, full office service solutions as well as value added uh, solutions. For example, we have virtual tenants who are overseas as well as um, actual tenants here in office. In addition to having office space, we also provide them with legal services, accounting, um, HR, as well as funding um, and connecting them with VCs and angel investors. Right now in my Palo Alto office, we have um, a couple of companies in different areas such as medical, music, uh, as well as clean tech companies that are kind of ahead of the game and going to be the next the next uh, big thing. And a few months later, the iPhone came out, uh, and out of that came what I'm working on today, which is How many people here uh, have, have an iPhone or an iPod Touch? Just raise your hand. Oh, okay. It's like more than half of the people here, it's about 60% of people here. Which is How many folks have at least heard of Tap Dab and hopefully played a game or two? I think we're doing well there as well. We've got about half of the crowd, so thank you. And if you talk to anybody in mobile gaming today, they are moving everything towards the iPhone, away from the legacy platforms, and I would say that I'm hearing, even hearing people spend less time on Android and more, more time on the App Store. It's, it's, I've said them in the last 18 months. And so you were hearing those stories, and I had like five or six of people telling me these stories, uh, within months after the iPhone came out, it became really clear that this was not sort of two times more exciting, or even ten times, but this was going to be 20, 30, 40 times more exciting and more engaging. And that means you've got something disruptive. Uh, that means that there are going to be big new uh, opportunities, big new companies, and entirely new classes of products and services. We continue our program, ladies and gentlemen. We're with another leader in uh, the uh, Plug and Play Tech Center. Can I get you to introduce yourself and tell us, our viewers about your company, please? Sure. Uh, my name is Nader Fati. I'm CEO and co-founder of SigmaQuest. SigmaQuest, we are the leader in product quality management system. Can you tell us a little bit more uh, articulated view of uh, what kind of benefits you bring in to, uh, to the business or to the consumer? Sure. So companies are now designing anywhere, manufacturing anywhere, and servicing anywhere. The good news is that they have been able to reduce their prices and their costs and time to market. The bad news, they really have lost control of their product quality. Recently, I don't know if you saw on the paper, uh, one of the large refrigerator manufacturers recalled like 1.6 million refrigerators. Wow. Uh, we had pacemakers which are failing. We have laptops which are catching fire. So companies are very concerned about protecting their product brand and product quality. So that's where SigmaQuest comes in. We help them manage this amount of data which is around the globe 
and basically collect it and get to the root cause with few click, all on the web, all web-based, all dashboarding and management by exception. That's what we do. Very interesting indeed. Now, let's get uh, to plug and play. Now, obviously today is plug and plays day, uh, one of the very um, popular days that they host uh, on a yearly basis. And uh, PAC 2009 is happening. Tell us about your association and your involvement with uh, plug and play and, and whether or not you're also a uh, one of the companies that is being incubated or accelerated under plug and play. Sure, so we have been actually one of the early companies here at plug and play. We have been here over two years. Oh, wow. And what's exciting about us at plug and play are few things. Number one is that it's really the convenient. As a CEO, it's really nice to be able to just deal with one interface which takes care of your office space, your IT, your phones, everything you need and that's really convenient for us. The other one is that they have a SAS 70 IT center right here which is very powerful for us. Small companies as you know it's very expensive to go buy hardware and set up your own servers and so on. Plug and play got us up and running very quickly. And last but not least is the networking events like what we have here today and also interface with a uh, variety of customers and prospects. Uh, Sigma Quest itself we have been introduced not only to venture capital but some potential customers right here at Plug and Play which is very convenient. And so the networking aspect not only with the investor community but customers as well as other people in the software industry is very powerful. Mike Walters, president of the Entrepreneurial Society at San Jose State. Working with Plug and Play has been amazing. <laughs> um, at the Entrepreneurial Society at San Jose State, we've got web apps, web companies, renewable energy, some of the sharpest minds in the valley, in the world, um, working on cutting edge products at San Jose State. And where I found, out of all the people I've networked with, the people that can really spot value ahead of the curve, has been plug and play. And so I'm pretty confident that you're gonna see a lot of our cutting edge businesses launch right here at this incubator. That's what I'm looking at right now. Hey, this is Ari Rizam Asrur. I am one of the plug and play manager to helping Iranian startups to go to global market to have good opportunity to start from Silicon Valley. We accelerate their uh, success to January about 10 times hopefully and we have a lot of startup here and I, I want to be a kind of bridge for Iranian startup that they want to start from Silicon Valley and going to the global market. Salam, man Ali Rizo Masrur hastam. Ba plugger play kar mikonim ta bachay javuni ke idai khas daran betunan به عنوان کارافرین های موفق از سیلیکون ولی شروع کنن به همه دنیا برن و ما بتونیم به عنوان پول بهشون کمک کنیم سرعت پیشرفتشون و سرعت موفقیتشون رو سه برابر پنج برابر کنیم تا جایی که من بتونم من کمک کنم تا جایی که این محیط بتونه این محیط بهشون کمک کنه My name is Afros. I am from Jadus. I am CEO of the company Jadus. What we are building is um, a web operating system, which is which is which runs on the cloud, which allow the users to have multiple applications and to connect to everybody, to his family, to his business, to his uh, friends. When it runs inside the remote control, it works later on iPhone. As an Afros has